It is what it is. It is what it is. I remember reading somewhere years ago that in the depths of their images, poets never lie. And so it is with Walt Whitman, exuberant, celebratory, and achingly beautiful. Probably more than any other poet, including William Shakespeare and Lord Byron, whose sensual instincts he shared, Whitman, in all of his work, honestly and startlingly chronicled what he called adhesiveness in all of its ancient and oral glory. I never really went, read Walt Whitman until I began to prepare this script and finally read him only because I had found an actor with the requisite right hair and beard who did my Leonardo and I was anxious to have him do something else for me. Such is the extraordinary scope and acting talent and visceral human understanding. And so the choice of Walt Whitman for my friend Charlie Leader. But then again, in all of my 87 years, I personally and unquestionably arrogantly have never read or respected much poetry beyond Shakespeare, at Cynthia Weil from Felicity, Byron, She Walks in Beauty Like the Night, and John Keats, Thou Still Unravished Bride of Quietness. So was it with incredible awe that I encountered and viscerally understood what Whitman was saying. What I knew of Whitman before this present encounter was that he was regarded as America's greatest poet and that his poetry was somewhat homoerotically resplendent, to say the least, as I was to discover. I do not remember his poetry being included in my university studies or anywhere else for that matter as if he was the crazy uncle in the attic who must be shut away from sight and sound. And so he was and is by many until this very day. And he himself tried to mask somewhat what he was saying by lying about his innumerable affairs with females and his imaginary family of children. He faced in his adulthood a growing distaste of the critical public with what he was with what was somewhat acceptable among quiet male relationships in his youth and young adulthood, to a growing Victorian approbation and evolving 20th century pathology, to only now in very recent times an honest understanding of the complexity of human sexuality and its physical practices. Bravo, bravo Walt Whitman, bravo. May your dormant bones, now resting in peace in your Camden, New Jersey tomb, be nourished by your adhesive legacy to an exuberant process as ancient as the human male itself and as futuristic as what all the great philosophers have both whispered and shouted, love ye one another. I sing, I sing, I sing of men and women, of in them all the bodies so exquisite that symmetry defy what nature would abhor, the form, the shape, the taste, a tongue on blinding beauty exquisite 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 oh let me roam on arms and legs oh let me kiss and smother this thing this thing of beauty a woman and a man Where did such ecstasy evolve? Where did such luster, cream, and form evolve? Evolve, evolve. That now the even 
hour of my death I am in yet, in yet, enraptured. When, oh when, did first I see this structure, this edifice of blood that in its sheen majestic give possibility to all, to all. It are ah, the mother of the universe and evolve from one, the other, all who are this earth. I sing, I sing, I sing you from that center of your universe, from flesh and blood and satin hair. I sing and sing and sing. I do remember black and red that month I was New Orleans and did one day where man and women were sold as final act that devastation there was a man yet young who in his rags just stood there until one from the floor said, strip him, make him bare. And so the rags were gone, and what then did remain resplendent, joyous, immortal, color, black, and red, color, pink, and purple. Color, color, color. I was that man transfixed, not in his slave, his devastation, But what he was, eternal. I sing, I sing, I sing. That night, there was so near me another in young of golden skin. We looked long minutes those goblets where we drank and knew and knew and knew. Why had I waited? So long I waited to hear this alien place where flesh were bought and sold, where flesh were luminous in morning light as so the sun are gone to now, to now, to now. I say upon the beauty this, I say to even now, my flesh are soon decay, that here I would imbibe that here the essence each of us would enter blood the each of us and we would become immortal oh how i do remember that first my way to golgotha my first were all to follow I sing my songs electric. Isosceles, 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 the root 
of all the world. I lay aside my hand, his neck, my hand, his foot, and there, and there, my mouth in bread to drink, to drink, to drink. What are the seed of all this world, of all this universe, of all this God, who point such you us, O oh God, O oh God, O oh God, there are divinity in this, there are divinity, this seed, what gender all of life, a woman and a man, that I can also drink your wonder in lathered ecstasy, my body his, his body mine. Oh, joy, oh joy, oh joy, from all the fields America, the mountains, oceans full of corn and wheat, this essence are all same from you to us, eternity. Oh, are these such I daily minister? What in this ecstasy succeed old Walter? Adhere the stuff of human life as if the thirsty body men are there for me forever drink. Who and how? And where? Did you, a thief, some frigid midnight, came lay upon my naked skin and say to me, and say to me, come here where you would Worship are here, will you ingest all joy, are known the universe. What images endure? Are we in skin, in bone, in water turned to cream? Are we who are progenitor all that? All that, what do advance the universe, what lay upon your throat, your eyes, the very heart of you, and say, and say, and say, our I make you immortal. Whatever humble skin I do inhabit, whatever color, whatever aramint do clothe me, our all, our all to have it, our all wanton color in fundament. I am one universal, and here the legs of men are do you worship, are do you drink, what make you all immortal. Sing this upon the heavens, sing this on wood, on stone, on linen, finer ancient skin. Sing this, my Walter, and you will be immortal. Immortal to the rain, the arc of daylight, what revel all we are. When and how and where did you, a thief, some frigid midnight, Come, lay upon my naked skin and say to me, and say to me, 
are here where you will worship, are here will you ingest all joy unknown the universe. Whatever unique endure, are we in skin, in bone, in milk turned to cream, are we who are progenitors, all that, all that, what do advance the universe, what lay upon your throat, your eyes, the very best of you, and say, and say, and say, our I make you immortal. Whatever humble skin I do inhabit, whatever color, whatever amount do clothe me, are all, are all do have it. Whatever color, hue, are fundament, I am one universal. And here, the legs of men are do you worship, are do you drink what make you all immortal. Sing this upon the heavens. Sing this on brick, on stone, on linen, fine ancient skin. Sing this, my Walter and you will be immortal, immortal to the rain, the air of daylight, what revel all we are. There comes a moment when death has signal in his phallic hair, in here where are the breath of him. I now am come upon you. I now are soon to put the very sockets of your eyes, that place where you do hear that mouth, what long have caused my ecstasy, those million moments unconnect. You were first moment to now. The light will soon desert you. Sentinel, I am sentinel. Two arms, you slip beneath the sun, the warm, warm earth abandoned other creatures. What soon will feast upon you? What will the ivory flesh you are so make of you abhorrent? The desire you had, the very frame of man. Captain, oh my captain, from these behind the word, your bondage to naked in the sea, your tongue put out, receive, and so ingest from these the apples of your brother, so project in their honey spice to all those sailors you did pursue on wooden lanes, on red wax candles, and yet, all yet, all one year, another, one time, five decades to another, naked in the sea, they crowd to give me presents before I cut your throat, and all of it are gone as if it never were. Oh, Captain, oh, my Captain, why here when you are so ardent and fondle? What? now are gone. 
How do you see me all what I did take that you did watch the dimming of the light incarnate and gross and known to you alone as bread, as water, as honey meat and white potatoes I smear upon your face. You are so soon to die. You are no longer relevant to any you do see, to any who see you, a transcendent ecstasy, what seek upon them all. Captain, oh my captain, you soon are done when none of them cannot, when none in your 21 are burnt saliva as honey from 65. From these are strangers in the street to hear that woman clean your house. All yet, all so, all of them, not one without the other, these boys who died, these boys who died, their arms around your neck, wanton, 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 the excess and the waste. You breathe, still yet you breathe. A painting from the Italy, what no the joy of you, the Egypt you will decay, the Greece eternal wishes, the sweat, the air, the semen, what do them all eternity? Sing, my captain, sing, what all, what all? Are so your ecstasy are sterile here without what are a woman who nurture what you give, who nurture what you swallow, another human being and not the yellow earth urine, what take from you to nothingness a line, a river in the mud. And yet, I hide, I climb this sacred place and taste the glory of this earth. And yet, from where I was a boy till now, it are not what it was. The word, do not evolve it. Perhaps it never will. The giver and he who drinks that man who with another see God see God see God why must I hide this ecstasy why must I put in golden chalices this stuff this stuff, this stuff, what are upon the universe, domain, domain, domain. I always knew, I always knew, I always knew my brothers and my brothers as if were only we descendant of fire to a fire. God! I screamed, God, as he expelled. And I received God. So, are you here 
in this communion, and yet, as all my hair are white, I less, now less, remember and cross a word, yes, cross a word from he to her. Where are we both, the dance of life? Where are we both, the dance of life? Who am I stead here, prophet? Who do direct what go from him to her? Have it all been delicious? Have it all been that I now, but so few, to make of this communion what force it never were, and yet the only sight, the only taste, the only contemplation were all enough. I went into that church and knelt and knelt and knelt. Oh, more the joy of it, oh, more each incantation. The sacred life are more upon this earth, and whatever age there be, the ecstasy are same, the ecstasy are same. Oh, bring me the nakedness I am, and put white flowers all my flesh decay, so all can say, here was a man who knew the face of God in every line, in every breath, in every incantation, this most, this most eternity, and now, and now, and now can only say, I say, whatever dance I do upon the skin of you, our only prelude, what nature have designed, a man into a woman, a man into a woman. Without the two of these, whatever dance, my many, your saliva, are there, the two of you, immortal urges, a little boy, a little girl, what do come from the two of you, the two of you. I worship with my mouth, but she, but she, the seed of you create, create, create. What I are seeing, the universe, engorged by what you give, are in another place. What do exalt the fabric? We are here in nakedness, in ecstasy, in form. I, but a beggar, the yearnings of a feast for only women, for only men, and yet I do endure, and yet I must endure. Go to her, and your fine child revive. What all he have to give, go to her, and there infuse of life what never I could do, what never I could do. And when your son, and when your daughter, your work of some serenity, they replicate, they replicate. Captain, oh my captain, 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 what now? I will soon join you, decay and worms in consolation. Oh, how I saw you weeping in the night, those thousands, beauteous youths, you 
sent them into those flaxen fields to murder one, the other, to cut and sever and burn immortal flesh. They should have kissed upon stead, sever, cut, and wanton scrape flesh and bone and hair. Oh, did you think of it? When did you see those piles, arms and legs? and fingers. <sighs> that better these men, these beauteous youths, so kiss and so caress, their tongues entwined, the beauty one the other, stead suck those crevices, those bulbous flowers, death and death and death. Oh, would this species I leave tomorrow as you, some decades gone, so smolder in their mantles, not smoke, not blood, but that elixir that made us all in exultation, in exultation, that these, in these great battlefields, now disrobe in honesty and say to one the other, Brother, let me love you love you, so would I never kill you. Let me hold you naked, one the other, till we were one, the flowers and the grass, and all the sun, the stars, the planets cry out as did that ancient Christ, love ye, love ye, love ye one, another, and then, and then, go back their mothers and their wives and say and do, let's traffic more eternity, that do we both create life and life and life. Let husband mount his wife and give into her crevices that substance white what all are be created. Let son so lay upon his wife with flowers in her hair, his tongue upon her mouth, and dance upon her beauty, till she draw forth his manhood and her ecstasy all and all and all. From Battlefield to bed, naked, 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 the dance of life.